Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is, what is today? Today's Friday. <laughs> um, December 17th. <laughs> I'm going to record uh, a cart clean out video today. It is pretty um, messy. <laughs> kind of my catch all for my crafting stuff. Whoops, y'all are shaking. Sorry about that. But uh, I took a shower just a little while ago and I still have my little thing on my head, so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to clean out my three chair cart because it's supposed to be where I keep all my crafty stuff handy so I can grab it, but uh, it gets a little overloaded sometimes and it needs to be cleaned off. <laughs> so as you can tell, there's just all kinds of stuff stuffed everywhere, so we're just going to start and try to organize it and get stuff out that needs to be out and fix it up that needs to be fixed up. Yeah, <laughs> my voice is still a little weird today. Uh, it comes and goes, it seems. But yeah, so let's hop in here and get to see what's all on this car because I don't even know and try to organize it a little bit. Hmm. May take a minute. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll start with the top. So this was a project bag that I had a baby blanket in for June <laughs> that I finished quite some time ago and it's still just living there with like the half used skeins in it. So I need to empty this project bag out and put the leftover yarn up. Uh, there's still a lot of yarn on these that I can make something else with for her. So I'm just going to pile all the yarn that needs to be put away behind me. And then after I get done recording this, I'll put it all where it needs to go. Hopefully. <laughs> so there's those three skeins of yarn. I made the Call the Midwife blanket with this yarn and it turned out really pretty. And I'm actually taking it with me in my hospital bag to the hospital. And look, there's my pattern. So I need to put this back with my patterns um, that I use a lot. Let me make sure there's no... Oh, scissors there in there all right I'm pretty sure it's empty so now this can go in my bag of project bags <laughs> I have a big bag of project bags and this will go back in one of these little cups once I get them cleaned out forever now I'm just gonna leave it on the floor all right what else is up here my ear warmer that I made and June's matching one <laughs> so these need to be put somewhere where I, we can use them once she's born <laughs> so i need to put them we have a box in our living room that has hats and gloves and scarves and things in it so i'll probably put these in there so that uh they're all together and then next okay this is the little hat and booties that i made to match a little sweater i made for june which i still haven't put the buttons on i got them laid in there in on my craft table but i got to uh actually sew the buttons on so this will go with those so that I can take pictures of her in them when she's born. All right, lots of scrap balls up here. <laughs> this is a scrap of mandala ombre that I made those that little hat and booties out of and the sweater. So all these scrap balls whoop, will be going into my scrap ball buckets. So, and this is, um, I love this yarn. Pinky toes, I think, which is what I made the headbands out of. So I'm going to put them up here with these other yarn balls. And I'll put them all away in a little bit. So here's the yarn bowl with yarn balls in it. This is when I was making my squares for my Christmas blanket. So these are just, again, scrap balls that will go with the other ones. So I got some of these hair clips. I like to use those on my scrap balls to keep the ends from unraveling. So let me go ahead and put one on here. Grab this other one. It just helps keep uh, my scrap balls a little bit neater. Like that. So they're not unraveling everywhere. My yarn ball I do like to keep in here because I like to use it for my scrap balls. So I'm just going to set it on the floor temporarily until I get the top tier cleaned off. And then we'll put it back where it goes. Alright, let's see. This is a pattern. What pattern is this? Oh, this is the baby sweater. This is the day I printed this out because um, Devin had a dentist appointment that day. I took this with me in the car. There's also the booties pattern that I made. So I'll probably save those in case I want to remake them. I'll put it, I have a binder that has patterns in it. I'll put it up there with my call the midwife blanket. And we'll put all them together in a little bit. What else is up there? Ball band. That's trash. <laughs> oh, there's a stitch marker I just got recently. I haven't put it, I haven't taken it off the thing yet. So I will be putting that on my stitch marker thing back here so that I can rotate and use it. Take it right there. <laughs> and then let's see here. This is the knit crate that I got a few months ago. I think this is October's piece of yarn right there. So 
this I'll put with my giveaway gun because this is alpaca, as they most are. Um, stick that card in there. So that'll go in there in my craft area with the other new crate that I just recently got. And my other one, the December one, mailed. I got the notification for that. Another ball band. There's a bunch of stuff up here. One of these thingies. <laughs> More yarn tails, <laughs> and notebooks and patterns, stitch markers. These are ones that I've gotten recently. A hook, more stitch markers. <laughs> I can't see up there. I think I got everything. So here's a hook. This is one that I don't really like. So I'm going to put this probably in my giveaway stash. I tried using it and I just don't like it. So I'm going to put it with a knit crate so I can give it away. And then this is a bunch of stitch markers. These are ones I've already had and some that was recently gifted, gifted to me. So I need to put them on my stitch marker thing. Which is just a chicken wire heart that I got on clearance at Michael's around Easter. It was in their Easter stuff. And when I seen it, it was just a few dollars. And as soon as I seen it, I was like, that would be perfect to hang stitch markers on. So I bought it. And that's what I use it for is hanging stitch markers on. I also have this little hook right here on my cart that I, I usually keep a couple on. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple on there so that I can grab them when I'm in a rush to uh, get a project going. <laughs> uh, yep, there. I have a whole lot that I just, I come in here sometimes and just kind of grab a random one and use the one that I haven't used in a while. Notebook. Let's see here, what is this? Oh, this is the square pattern for my Christmas blanket. But I have that memorized, so I'll put that in my pattern folder. Let's see here, what is this? Oh, this is the floppy eared bunny. I haven't made that in forever, so that's been enough for a while. And this is one of the Christmas <laughs> appliques, the snowman one. That's been a while too. That was one of the first ones I made. So all that can go back into my pattern book. Let's see here. This is just my Lisa Frank notebook. I keep it up here so I can write notes for um, episodes, like who wrote what patterns and stuff. So I'll put that back, right back up there so I can use it. So now the top tier is empty. I'm going to put my yarn bowl back up there because I like using it. And that's all that's going to go up there for the moment. So i got to do these other ones. All right, so let's go down to the second tier. <laughs> I'm going to try to move you guys down a little bit. All right, second tier is quite a mess. Look at that. <laughs> so... Safety eyes. I have a ton of these, and um, I don't have a good way to store them. I need I need to get some kind of like um, multi-tiered thing with multiple holes in it. I need to look for something like that at Hobby Lobby or somewhere, so I can condense them all into one space. Especially because I just got a whole lot gifted to me, and this isn't even all of them. Some of them are still in there on my craft table because I haven't showed it in a Happy Mail video yet. But this is my. This has a lot of the backings on it, and also stitch marker making stuff. And uh, these are just these are just like smaller size safety eyes and noses. And then all these ones were gifted to me just recently, so I need a, a storage container for them. I gotta figure something out. And like I said, there's even more um, in there, and I actually have more down here too. <laughs> I have a lot, but I'm glad I'm so great, grateful that I got these big ones because I didn't have hardly any big safety eyes. Like the biggest ones I had were like maybe um, 10 millimeters. And I wanted big ones so I can make giant amigurumis eventually. All right, so here's a skein of yarn. This is Red Heart. I used it for something. Don't know what. <laughs> Put that up there. Scrap ball of something. This is I Love This Yarn, but I, don't, I can't remember what it's called. I used it recently for something too. But I don't remember what. <laughs> I think jellyfish or something. Uh, these are hooks. These are my um, like soft gripped ones. I forget what these are called. They were gifted to me. Are they, I think they're clover. Are they clover? I can't remember. It just says Japan. <laughs> but I do like using these. So I keep them in this bag. And then I have another bag with my Susan Bates in it. Which are my absolute favorite hooks to use. And then I have another pro or another little bag with my Susan Bates um, soft grips. So here's a Halloween bag that I never lined. And the other one I still haven't lined either. I'm going to actually throw that over here because i got a bunch of finished objects piled up on our uh, on a box behind you guys that I need to put up. And um, I'm just going to add that to the pile. <laughs> Empty project bag. can go with my Halloween one. 
This is the uh, Nushy Pouch Terry at Yarn Joy podcast made me. Uh, she made all of the main people who were participating in the movie and stitch this. And this is one of the bags I grab when I'm like leaving the house. It's got like a notebook, a pen, it's got scissors, stitch markers, needles, a measuring tape. And also, like if I'm taking a project with me, I throw the hooks down in there for it. This is my, when I'm leaving the house bag, I grab this one. <laughs> Big thing of amethyst. Again, I don't, I can't remember what I use that on. But I gotta put it away. Ooh, here's a bunch of patterns. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is for. It doesn't say. Oh, this is for a candy cane that I never made. This is a stringy ding pattern. Stringy ding ding pattern. Another one, her turkey. <clears throat> the little berries that I made before. I love that pattern. These are patterns I think that I pull out for um, national holidays because this is that butterfly that I made. That's another stringy ding ding pattern. Oh, that's the the. Um, Manatee. <laughs> that was before I got the book with all those little critters in it. What is this? I don't know what these are. I'll have to go through these later. It's a bunch of patterns. So I'm going to sort through them and put them in my pattern binder. That way I know where they're at when I need them. I'm going to have an avalanche behind me. <laughs> Alright, stitch markers. These are the ones, whoops, these are more like progress keepers. These were gifted to me. And I like to use these when, like, if I'm doing, like, a blanket and I need to make a really long chain of, like, 200, I'll put one of these, like, every 10 or 20 chains so that if I lose count, I can go back and count quickly. So these I like keeping on my cart for sure. They're handy. And then another notebook. This is my uh, Golden Girls notebook. I was using this to keep track of my projects, but then I stopped doing that. So I need to do that for 2022. Maybe. I don't know. We'll put this up here, and maybe I'll try to remember to do that. This is an extra little hooky thing. They're kind of hard to get on there. Ah, there you go. All right. So the, the second tier is cleared off. The second tier is usually where I keep my hook bags. Two of them are in the living room. So I usually keep them here and these stitch markers here. And then it becomes a catch-all. <laughs> so now let's do these little cups. My cart came with these three little cups, which I love. And um, these are usually all things in here. Yeah, these are beautiful hooks that were gifted to me as well a while ago. And I do use them. That's why I leave them uh, right here so they're easy to just grab. <laughs> and then these are just like miscellaneous storage for like um, pins and apparently a nail file. <laughs> My measuring tape is in here that I got from Knit Crate. So let's go through here and see if there's anything in here. It's not supposed to be in here. There probably is. <laughs> Alright, so like this, this hook right here can go back in this bag. Leave that open because I'll probably find more. Got a pin. Got some needles. Got some more of the little um, clips. I'll put those with my scrap balls because uh, as I empty a scrap ball, then I can use these for other scrap balls because there's always more. This is the plug-in thing for my uh, computer's wireless mouse. I'm going to keep that in there so I don't lose it. <laughs> and then a stitch marker. Let me put those clips up here so I don't lose them. And the stitch marker can go on the heart. The heart can go on the heart. If I can get it open. Uh, right. right there. Okay. So I'm going to put my tape measure back in there because I do use that. And these weaving in needles. Alright, the next one. Nail file. That needs to go back in my bathroom. <laughs> another pin. Another pin. Another pin. Okay, here's two more of my clover hooks. I can go back down in there. This is one of my Susan Bates hooks. I'm just going to lay it here because the case it goes in is in the living room. This is a patch I got from Knit Crate. <laughs> this is a hook that I got. Uh, this is a clover too, I think. It's a different type though. I'll probably just let it sit back in there. <clears throat> this is a bale off of my Halloween decoration. It came off and I forgot to sew it back on. <laughs> Another scrap ball clip. And some more stitch markers. Hang that one there. These are two that I got in Happy Mail. So I need to hang them on my thing. 
A bell, I'm probably gonna put back in here so I can not lose it. So if I put it anywhere else in the house, I will lose it before next Halloween. So let's hang these little guys over here. There we go. All right, I don't think I need four pins in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in there. My nail file, I will put back in my nail stuff. And this little patch I need to put in my caboodle, I think is what it's called, that old makeup case that I keep all my miscellaneous craft bits like buttons and things in. I'll stick this in there until I find something to put it on. I will probably put it on a bag in the future, like a project bag I make myself. Um, so I'm gonna put this up so that I don't lose it before then. <laughs> All right, bottom tier. I don't know if I can get an angle for y'all to see that and me at the same time. You can see my stomach. <laughs> Fix my shirt. <laughs> you can kind of see it. All right, this is a battery charger. It's practically dead. It needs to be charged. <laughs> and two new project bags. Another pattern. Oh, this is the Grinch. Definitely keep that one because I'll probably make a bunch more of those over the years. The little Grinch from Little Crochet Farm. My boho book. <laughs> My olive book. Alright, here's a mandala cake that I actually was starting a... It's a mandala sparkle. I was starting something for the baby in it, but I just don't like the way the glitter feels in it. And I feel like it'd be rough on skin, especially baby skin. So I went ahead and frogged it, and I'm just going to put this back in my stash and use it for something else a different day. And this was a swancha I was starting, and I'm, I was going to frog it, and I just never frogged it. So I need to put this over here and frog it in a minute. Get that done with. All right. This is a lava heart that I bought at clearance, on clearance at Hobby Lobby that I wanted to make a necklace out of, and i just never done it. This is going to go on my caboodle as well to make eventually. <laughs> right. Some more safety eyes, bits and bobs that have been gifted to me and that I purchased over the time. Another pattern. This is, this is, I printed this before I got the book from Olive, but it's got a little, um, this is the little jellyfish. This is when she was doing that giveaway. So I printed that out and uh, entered that giveaway. These are little safety eyes that came in random kits. I think they just got the safety eyes in them. Yeah. So these again, I'll put with my safety eyes and we'll do that. And these are hair curlers <laughs> from the Dollar Tree that I wanted to try to use as necks into in amigurumi dolls. I just haven't made any that needed necks. So I'm gonna leave this down here. And I'm gonna put all my safety eyes down here. And eventually I wanna get some kind of storage container like I, like I was mentioning earlier to put these in. Cause there's so many now that it's, um, most of these ones are like used up, the sizes that I use a lot. I like all these little amounts, I'd like to get these in their own little drawers. There's those two little ones. All right, these are the scissors I found in a project bag. I'll keep them here. And then I will keep my, my Plenty of Fish in the Sea and the Boho one in my cart because I use this one a lot, <laughs> and this one I want to use, uh, I start a scrap project probably after the new year with my scrap balls and the scrap balls that I got gifted from Beverly. So I'm going to leave these in here so I can have that easy to reach. This thing needs to be charged, and this, I don't even know where this one came from. I'll have to find out which cord's missing one of these. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my craft cart. It's a lot cleaner now. It looks good. It's more functional. Let me close this. I do need to put this one hook up. Get my other hooks in here. Now I just gotta put all these yarn balls, patterns, into project bags away. A little bit of trash, not as bad as normal. Normally there's like snack wrappers and stuff in there, but not today, so that's a good thing. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope that this motivated you to clean out your cart if it needs it. Uh, I hope it at least entertained you to see how messy I am. <laughs> Especially with yarn balls, I have a tendency of just stuffing them, you know. And then um, I have like 30 that I have to put away. <laughs> but I'm going to take care of all that off camera and put up my project bags and frog that project and deal with all these patterns <laughs> that just piled up. And hopefully my cart can stay clean for a little while and be more functional for me to put my whips on. And uh, we'll see about that though. <laughs> it usually becomes a catch-all for me because it's easy for me to just chuck stuff on it and walk away. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and put all this stuff away and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.